Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 41 here. And the question is, write the nodal equation using general approach for the network of figure 8.132. And then find the nodal, nodal voltages using determinants. Use the result of part B to find the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. And then D, use the result of part B to find the current through the 2 ohm and 4 ohm resistor okay maybe let's start by naming this node here as node v1 and then this node here as node v2 okay and then let's assume the direction of the current uh, maybe this is going down here and I just follow the arrow of this 5 ampere current source and this is going to the right and this is going down and this is also going down okay now let's start with the point A write the nodal equation okay let's write that nodal equations First, we need to do KCL at node V1. So let's do KCL at node V1. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, there is no current that goes in into V1. So I just wrote zero. Zero here as the current that goes in and all the other currents is going out so i will have this current here v1 minus ground here so i will have zero here so v1 minus zero that will be v1 divided by the current i mean the resistance between them so i will have two here and then we will have plus the current that uh, going out from V1 and this is a current source which is the amplitude is 5 ampere so I will have 5 here. and then this current here that will be V1 minus V2 divided by A so I will have plus V1 minus V2 divided by A okay let's multiply both sides by 4 I mean by 8 to remove the denominator here okay and on the left hand side we will have 0 2 and 8 will cancel into 4 so i will have 4 v1 5 and 8 will be 40 5 times 8 so i have 40 here and then 8 will cancel each other so i will have v1 minus v2 okay 4 plus 1 is 5 so i will have 5 v1 and then minus v2 and let's move this 40 to the other side so i will have minus 40 and i think that's all so let's have this as equation okay so this is from this v1 here okay let's do kcl at this node here so now we will have kcl at node v2 Okay, uh, let's do the sum of the current that goes in. That will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is from this one. So I will have V1 minus V2 divided by A. Okay, and then this one here I will have that is 3 ampere. So I have 3 there. And then this current here, so I have V2 minus 0 divided by 4. So I have V2 over 4. I think we can multiply it by 8 again to remove the denominator. So on the left hand side, 8 will cancel each other. So I will have V1 minus V2. And then we will have 3 multiplied by 8. So I will have 24. And 4 and 8 will cancel into 2, so I will have plus 2v2. Okay, now we will have v1 minus 3v2. That will equals to 24. 
okay good let's set this as equation number two so this is two equation that is for equation a the nodal equations this is equation number one and this is equation number two. and we need to solve it okay let's let's clean the slide and move on to equation b okay we have two equation with two variables we should be able to solve it right i think i will use substitution right the easiest way uh let's do that so i will have i mean elimination 5 v1 let's rewrite that first minus v2 equals minus 40 and then v1 minus 3 v2 that equals 24 good let's multiply this by 3 and let's multiply this by 1 so i want to eliminate this v2 here so i will have 15 v1 minus 3 v2 and that will equal to minus 120 and for this one i will have v1 minus 3 v2 that will equals to 24 okay let's subtract that so i will have this will cancel each other and this will becomes 14 v1 and here i will have minus 144 so i will have v1 is equal to minus 144 divided by so i will have minus 10.229 and the unit here will be 4 okay and then uh i think i will use substitution here so i will have v1 minus 3 v2 equals 24 so that means that 3 v2 is equal to v1 minus 24 and then v2 is v1 over 3 minus 24 okay and then let's use calculator then so i will have p1 p1 is minus 10.29 divided by 3 and then minus 24 so i will have p2 is equal to minus 27.43 27.4 and the unit will be 4. So this is the answer for question B. So V1 is this voltage here and V2 is this voltage. Okay, now let's move on to question C and D. Okay, this is the question C. Use this to find the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor. So we are asked to find out this voltage here and that is v1 minus v2 I, I think we will name this as v3 right so we'll have v3 is equals to v1 minus v2 we can just plug in the number so i'll have minus 10.29 minus and minus becomes plus so i'll have 27.40 okay what is the value there 27.43 minus 10.29 so that will be 17.40 17 point 14 that is v3 so i will have v3 here and for part d oh that is not v4 that is v3 right use the part b to find the current the current so this one 
So I need to find out this one. Let's name this as I1. And let's name this as I. Okay, what is I1? I1 is just P1 divided by, you can just plug in there. So I have minus 10.29 divided by. What is the result? Let's do that. Minus 10.29 divided by. We will have minus 5.15. Minus 5.15. And the unit will be ampere. And then for I2, we will have P2 over 2. We will have P2. What is P2? Minus 27.43 divided by. Minus 27.43 divided. So I will have minus 13.72. And the unit will be up. Okay, and I think that's all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.